So this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and as well Aquarius Rising. Monthly title reading February uh, 2020 and uh, in case any of you guys are interested in getting getting in touch with me for a uh, for a personal reading you can check out the description the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to uh, my website. So uh, this reading is gonna be a seven card spread <clears throat> for the month and the first card is going to represent the very topic and the theme of the month for your Aquarius and that is going to be the Ten of Swords. The second card does represent the energies which are supporting the topic and the theme of the month here. We have the Five of Swords, of uh, Wands, excuse me. Followed by the third one that represents uh, what is what are going to be the challenges for you to overcome throughout the month here and that will be represented by the Four of Cups. Followed by the fourth one which stands as the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the month itself and we do have the Knight of Wands. The fifth card is going to be how people are going to take on you, how they are going to see you right? and what kind of a presence you are going to incorporate into your month. That will be the um, King of Cups. The seventh card, it is what is going to drastically improve your circumstances uh, in this month for your long term goal that it is or what is going to improve your life dramatically throughout the month. Uh, that will be the eight of uh, the eight of cups for what it seems this the sixth card it will be what is gonna hurt uh, your circumstances and what is going to diminish or deteriorate uh, the wellness in your life if you will we do have the queen of swords here and the last one it is a guidance card and that will be the world so pretty straightforward uh, spread it is what we do have just to summarize before we go card to heart, card to card here, uh, that will be a month, a month of a, I would say, closure, if you will, where you have to just, you know, finalize certain certain deeds and, and things in your life and just move on from there toward a, um, a, let's say, brighter perspectives moving into the future. So starting with the first two cards, because they go hand to hand together, we do have the topic of the Ten of Swords and the energies which are supporting the topic of the Five of Wands. Now, because this uh, reading is not an enhanced one, um, I'm not taking under consideration much the elemental dignities, but I need to say that these are a active friend. And what they really tell us here for you, Aquarius, it is that this month, at certain point, I is just somebody is going to just take the cake, all right? Or something is just going to take the cake. You're going to have enough of it. And you would not want to have any of it anymore, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Things are going to speed up, maybe in both fields as well. And they will speed up to a such point that you will have, how can I say it, a really rough time catching up with them and not because you know you don't you are not able to keep up in pace but it is because there are to be way too much shenanigans happening around career-wise relationship-wise social circles well uh, maybe family also and so on and so forth and what happens here is that at certain point you just I don't want to say snap up, but it is more like a uh, that you draw a line. Okay, you draw you draw a line. You make a retrospection of uh, you know what is good for you and what is noxious for you, what is good for your career, what is noxious for it as well for your relationship, and that will provoke you, Aquarius, to do some drastic things okay like a taking ir irrevocable decisions, irreversible actions to be taken as well. It is because. Uh, you have to play certain things out where they belong, mainly into the past rather than into the future, if you will. So what these two cards are really saying for you, Aquarius, it is that that month, it is a time for actions. It is a time for you to, um, how can I say it? Well, if you will liberate or, or detach yourself from eight shenanigans, things and, and 
let's say stupid turnovers that are, are simply not serving you any favor whatsoever and uh, you know from there provoking a new dawn to come into uh, into your life is going to be i would say a rough month because a lot a, a lot is going to depend on you in a sense of that you have to just slam your fist on the table and say it's going to be the way i say it is going to be and therefore the whole thing will require a rather you know, quite big a mental strength spiritual strength was the word was the sentence that i was searching for and as well a yielding uh, standpoint where you are not afraid of sapping certain relationships of uh, detaching from certain projects as well etc etc um uh, that that is the whole point well i will try to summarize it that way um things are going to become so tense and dense as well uh, something is going to break in you in your relationship or into your career or in life in general and at that breaking point you will have to make the decision how you are to move on with your life from there which will require once again irreversible actions or irrevocable decisions that you will have to take and just leave on with them so as you can see that way i can summarize those two cards or something like a um, a cleaning of one's environment okay and just moving on having more space to attract new things that can come up further into your uh into your life now the next one that we do have it is the challenges that you will need to overcome here four of cups so that how that card really relates to the others well four of cups it is where one is sitting and it is consuming the i would say fruit but it is quote unquote because it could be a bad thing so obviously from the current situation but th that's the thing you have to accept that the benefits and the fruits of your current situations are like a well that you are pouring water from and that well is almost is almost dead dry so your challenge here is to start looking around for a new opportunities for a new goals to set in front of yourself and that unfortunately cannot happen unless you predetermine yourself to take the tough call and to make the tough decisions to do the tough actions here as the ten of swords suggests okay because the ten of swords um, you have to know the ten of swords people take it as a negative card it is because it's accompanied with a negative circumstances say okay uh, maybe you are going to be um, insulted a job and your personal dignity will not allow you to stay there so you will have to resign obviously that is a bad thing or it's kind of like a negative unpleasant thing for you to do but in the same time you can't simply stay there any longer knowing that people were insulting you taking you for granted and so on and so forth so anything better anything anything else it is better than what it is and it is where you know you have to preset your determination to do the right the, the tough calls which are the right calls once again and to incorporate the tough actions which are the right actions and everything starts from looking around for a new opportunities new goals new jobs new relationships you know or new ways to sprinkle your relationship back to life the um next card we have for you aquarius here is going to be uh, the knight of wands and that is the gifts and the blessings so knight of wands here as a gifts and blessings does not play a role as a person these are your personal gifts and blessings and knight of wands points that there are to be quite a lot of enterprises for you to drink from without uh, getting yourself drunk if i may express it that way so, so what that means it is that you will be able to try out and see what kind of appeals to you what what keeps up your interest for example and where you are good at as well now the important part with the knight of wands as a gift and blessing it is that you should not how can i say it um perpetually move from one thing into another but as soon as you find your things things that you like to do things that you, you are finding exhilarating as well amusing etc etc you just restrict or constrain yourself 
over them rather than seeking more and more because the tendency of the Knights of Wands it is that uh, while you do have a huge momentum moving forward you know and huge momentum to try things you are feeling like energetic enthusiastic as well etc etc uh, the momentum drops off, drops off very very quickly what I mean is that you sooner or later or sooner than later may be finding yourself rather burned out of trying different stuff another thing with the knight of wands as a gift as a gift and blessing it is that so much needed helping hand art is to arrive where you most need it and rest assured here with the ten of swords you are definitely gonna need at least a um we are saying it into our uh, our country more like a dignity support, something to support you uh, or someone to support you along the way, kind of like cheering you up, you know, and saying, that, yeah, you, you have to do it, you know, you shouldn't feel sorry about it or you shouldn't feel resentful about it and just move on from there, etc., etc. I think in America it's called emotional support. It's uh, so uh, something like that. Someone that is cheering you out and giving you an example that at some point, you know, you have to cut through the chase. You just need to kind of draw a line and not allow anything to go up above the line um, if it is not meant or rather, like, or rather like it is not worthy to go above the line. Next one. It is uh, how people are going to see you, what kind of an impression you're going to give into people around you. And that will be uh, the King of Cups. And this is how you stand. So first of all, people are going to see you as a someone who is very aware of their personal, emotional um, situation. What I mean it is that you are not feeling bad of what you feel. I don't know how to describe it in other way around or how you stand, if you will. It's more like a, um, a people seeing you as a person who completely tamed their emotions with the... Uh, king of cups and therefore people were seeing you as a someone who is whatever decision they make this isn't about much of an actions although you have to make actions but those actions are based on certain decisions right so people were seeing you that whatever decision that you have made throughout the month and that decision produces certain actions afterward it is well found and balanced it has a reason behind it so you can expect that people not to be that judgmental if you decide to leave your job if you decide to break your relationship because ten of swords is always about letting something go cutting cutting the dead meat of the bone okay and that that is why sometimes the ten of swords hurts as a, a topic especially that for example you are really in tune with someone you love them as a brother or as a sister you both working together but you see that their performance is not nearly enough to push the project through and you just have to confront that and say look brother i love you so much but you but your place is not here and unfortunately i have to let you go all right and uh, that 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 kind of a decision is not going to be kind of like met the judgmentally from that person i mean they are going to understand uh, you know where you're coming from and that you have been just with what you are saying and what you are doing as well additionally to that with the with the king of cups uh people are going to be attracted in a sense of that they're going to see you quite reliable that you can help them with someone so you can expect that throughout the month many people will seek not your attentions but your um how can i say it um your ability or capability, if you will, to help them with their personal stuffs, with their relationships, say, with their personal projects, renovating their home. So people are going to seek you for help. Now, what they don't know, it is that you alone as well can use, not that you need to, but you just can use a certain help going through those rough times that you have to make the tough calls and to take the tough this, uh, the tough actions in your uh, in your environment so the next one it is what throughout this month is going to uh, improve drastically your um, 
circumstances, your situations, and it's going to improve your lifestyle or life in general. And that will be the card of the Eight of Cups. So what the Eight of Cups only thing that it is saying in this particular time or in this particular reading, it is that you do need that fresh wind coming around. So whatever you have to cut as a dead meat from the bone, it's going to be replaced with a, a much brighter perspective. So what the card here says is, it is that having no remorse for what you did or for what you are about to do in terms of letting go certain people, certain situations of taking or making the tough decision because these decisions does not have to be about letting go something. It is about, it, they could refer to a structure, say, all right, that you have allowed, say, your partner to do whatever they want and now you just cannot stand that anymore and you have to set them in place so you do certain ultimatums because the ten of swords it is um it, it is involved it does involve ultimatums as well yeah it's not very pleasant neither for you neither for them as well but you should not feel resentful or regretful about that it is because it's gonna bring a better times coming around so the ten the eight of cups here points that what it is not working um it should be uh, how can i say it excluded from uh, from your current environment because it could be replaced with a, a much brighter perspective or you should not feel bad of that you just need to let go of certain structure stereotypes behaviors people jobs um projects and so on and so forth not trying to uh regain them back because a like the card said bright, brighter perspectives is brighter perspective is coming around therefore much better things are awaiting you behind the corner what, however, uh, can deteriorate your situation and your circumstances, that will be this person here. We do have the Queen of Swords. Now, I don't think looking at that card in this follow-up that this person is making that thing intentionally, but it is just, how can I say it? Uh, the Queen of Swords is a uh, stereotype. It's a little bit more tenacious and ruthless than it needs to be okay and it's like with uh, i would say that this person it's kind of like a counselor of yours and it is true that you need to cut the dead meat from the bone but this queen of swords will urge you or rather like with, throughout through her guidance or through her um advices that she's giving to you uh, she will encourage you to cut also a, a live meat along with the dead meat from the bone, all right? So it's kind of like her actions or uh, her suggestions are going to be more extreme than it needs to be. And uh, not that uh, this is going to deteriorate your situation by much here, but definitely if you do not follow her guidance and her advice, uh, it will be, how can I say it? You can, you can you can go into the new dawn or you can traverse into the new dawn in your life definitely with more um, sustainability than you can if you are following her advice and so to make it clear here uh, with the gifts and the blessings we said that a helping hand is coming around so here into what deteriorates your situation we do have a woman or most likely it could be as well a man that appears to be a helping hand all right giving you advice and so on and so forth what we said with the knights of swords is that the helping hand supports you emotionally not mentally it it just you know it encourages you for the choices you made and it is not forcing your hand to make or is trying to make choices for you right with the ten of swords the decisions and the actions need to come from you and not from someone else and the last one aquarius is going to be uh the guidance we do have the world card strongly correlates with the ten of swords at the start here and it points that whatever it comes to an end it has to end borrowing its time is not going to serve you any favor whatsoever so whatever you can set in closure throughout the month or whatever wants to be set into closure throughout the month being marriage being career being a project you know or being a, a certain relationship interaction and so on and so forth it has to be set into closure because the uh, world card points that one thing it is about to end all right it's it's a culmination of one thing and then a new perspective emerges. So you have to be ready for that new perspective by liberating yourself from the old one.
and that unfortunately has to happen through the energies of the Ten of Swords, which are not very pleasant energies at all. It's again, you're gonna feel under pressure, you're gonna feel that, uh, you know, you have to go to war, if you will, but, um, but with these cards, there is no other way around it. So uh, that being said, Aquarius, this was your a monthly tarot reading for February 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're gonna see each other next time. Until then, Bye.